بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay in this video we'll talk about some uh, major goals of network security like network security objectives objectives actually involves three basic concepts like confidentiality providing confidentiality or uh, providing integrity and making sure that the network is available all the time that is availability so in general it's also referred as cia trad it's a model which is designed to guide policies for the information security within the organization so so let's get uh, let's see actually what exactly this uh, these three terms refers to so starting with confidentiality means no one can see the information if if anyone is actually seeing the information he should be an authorized user okay so in simple words we can say encryption encrypting your data into some unreadable format where uh, no one can actually see So, if you take an example of uh, any banking websites, let's say I'm I'm sitting in here in my this is my computer, and I'm doing some transaction to my bank account. Let's say I'm I'm using some banking website. So, in general, when you when you go and access, you generally have something like HTTPS, and you type in the website generally, and then you type in your username, password, or ID, whatever it is, and you do some transaction, and it's finished. so this information actually goes over untrusted network that is your internet and maybe an attacker sitting somewhere here is actually watching all the traffic going into your network and he can capture the traffic and he can figure out your username and the password and he can do the transaction on behalf of you so we need to ensure that when the information is moving from your system to the account it should be not seen by it should not seen by anyone which means it has to be sent in a unreadable format which anyone captures or anyone uh, captures a packet he cannot actually see the contents and that's what this https refers to so you got normal http where all the web pages uh, will be shown in a clear text and https which is this page is actually encrypted so that no one actually see the information so this is one a normal example of encryptions so any network it, it it's not only deals with uh, with the banking websites but this is just a general example to understand uh, the basic security which we do on the daily basis but it can be anything like a user from here he is trying to access some database from his server maybe over internet or maybe some on the network and this information should be secure so confidentiality deals with uh, where deals with some kind of technology called encryption where you are going to send the information in clear text and we use some encryption algorithms to send the uh, convert this into some un- unreadable format uh, technically we call it as a cipher text and then send over the network and once it receives on the other end it's going to decrypt or convert back to into clear text which the user understands so that's what encryption uh, either Uh, you need to provide the confidentiality for the data which is moving on the network uh, moving through the network like uh, you're accessing some information on the network which is moving from uh, sender to receiver or maybe you're storing some database maybe a storage servers where you store all your database and you need to make sure that any unauthorized users who is trying to access should not be allowed okay so confidentiality ensures that no one can see your information at the same time only authorized users are allowed to see the contents or access the contents so it is done with the help of some encryption technologies so we'll talk about encryption uh, details like more in details in the later on topics in the cryptography concepts but at this point of time encryption means converting your text into some unreadable format by using some strong algorithms Now, next uh, goal of a network security is integrity. Now, integrity means ensuring that no one modifies your information, because in general there is a possibility that you you do some kind of transactions. Let's say, let me take the same example as bank. You connect your website, uh, banking website, through some HTTPS, and you do some transaction where you are trying to send it. 
uh, send some amount from your account A, maybe you, you maintain some multiple accounts and then you're doing some online transaction of your account B, maybe somewhere around $100, let's say. Now the information goes through the website, the, the internet and then banking website actually uh, do the transaction for you. Probably now there is a possibility that an attacker actually captures the packets or maybe he can modify the contents and he can change the source. Source is your account but the destination may change to his account and at the end attacker can actually spoof or pretend to, pretend to be B and he gets those uh, get the amount transferred or maybe uh, specific specific amount can be changed like uh, one simple example here like the, the rule is you are saying pay to Terry Smith uh, $100 probably and then when you're sending it back uh, probably it actually changes to pay to Alex Jones so the name changes and also the amount changes and the attacker is is going to claim that and that transaction so we need to make sure that this uh, uh, no one actually modify your content if it is modified it should be dropped and that is done with the help of some some algorithms called hashing algorithms uh, we use some specific algorithms which ensures that data is not modified in the transit and automatically you will come to know uh, if any modifications are done and automatically it is going to drop the transactions okay so changes made to the data are done only by the authorized individuals if, if any changes are done it has to be done with the authorized individuals now this user is authorized he can make some changes to the existing database but if any unauthorized user is trying to do that it's not permitted okay so maybe some kind of file permissions user access controls uh, if you're accessing something uh, from your database now the third option is availability availability means uh, the network has to be available all the time just like uh, there are most common attacks on the internet like DOS attacks we call them as denial of service attacks where the attacker intention is to make sure that it will impact the performance of the network or on the server like uh, one example you can you can example like you have uh, you do some online transactions let's say you do some uh, online shopping probably and you got two different vendors ABC and XYZ okay now the attacker intention is to make sure that this server is actually busy uh, that's what we call as denial of service denial of service means attacker intention is to uh, send some continuous traffic to the to this website uh, which makes this server much busy in responding to those requests and when the valid user is trying to access the server it's actually uh, you, you don't get your request resolved so probably you may end up accessing some other vendors so maybe done by the competitor or maybe maybe uh, anyone or an attacker it, attacker can be anyone so the attacker intention is to make sure that your server is uh, is not running up and running it can be server or it can be network it can be anything or maybe an attacker can send some kind of malicious traffic to your network and that makes my router busy in responding to those traffic and maybe if your network get impacted with that malicious traffic uh, maybe too much of bandwidth utilization on my network because of some some kind of attack we'll see how exactly this denial of service attack works and the different different possibilities of the denial of service attack more in detail so the main goal of network security or them is to make sure that your network must be up and running or maybe your server must be up and running all the time and you must have a 99.99 percent uptime that is very important because most of the attacks here uh, the attack intention is to make sure that your network is not available by introducing some kind of denial of service attacks here. 